Hey guys, this is Tactical Tuna, and what I'm bringing you today is a little exploit um, that will basically remove a password from a Windows 7 or earlier install. Um, it should work on anything previous or like after Windows N or uh, XP rather, or maybe maybe even millennia. I don't remember. Um, and basically, we're just using a program called uh, Change NT Password, and it is. Uh, we're using Backtrack 5, but it will be installed with Backtrack 3 Plus. And uh, if you are just on a different uh, Linux install, you can obviously just get change NT password yourself and then install it in a directory and just run it. Um, this exploit requires you to be a local user, so to actually have a physical, like the physical device. Um, in the future, we'll maybe be going through some network exploits, but for now, it's just if someone comes to you. Um, you can, you know, get their computer unlocked and them on it. Um, this is a little hackish, so uh, I have to say that this is just for educational purposes, and I do not expect people or hope that people are smart enough not to use this for malicious purposes. But uh, in case you do, you know, I have to say that I didn't, you know, enforce it, basically. But um, so we're just gonna get right into this, and it's relatively simple. So as long as you have some knowledge of Linux and Windows and all that good stuff, you should be good to go. So yeah, next time your parents come to you and go, "Oh, can you fix this?" You can go, "Yeah, I I can," and then good to go. So I'm gonna cut away the webcam, and I'm just gonna go to a video that I prepared previously, and it will have my desktop as well as a video in case you for some reason want to watch me do it. I, yeah, the webcam is a little out of sync, but bear with it. Uh, so yeah, we'll get right into this. Hey again, guys. So what I'm doing right now is just obviously loading up my Windows 7 machine because I have to put a password on, which it doesn't have right now. Um, this is just a, you know, generic Windows 7 Home Premium install. Um, this exploit will work on any, like, any. I say any, but I mean, obviously there's exceptions. But for the most part, it should work on just about any install, um, whether it be starter or ultimate, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to Control Panel and set a password. Uh, as you can see, this is an administrator account um, titled Colin, which is my name. So we're just gonna go ahead and type password for the password. And in case we need a hint, it's just gonna be the password. And so once we have that, I'm gonna just lock the computer to show that it is, um, it is there effectively. So there we go. And then there's a password it won't let me on. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and restart. It's gonna take a few seconds because VMware players a little slow at points, but um, what we're going to do is once we get to the point of this, we're just going to go press escape for boot menu. This could vary, usually F8 or something similar, and we're just going to go ahead and select CD-ROM. Um, if you're booting off a USB, obviously you're not going to, you're just going to pick that instead, but wherever you have your backtrack live CD or install, and we're just going to choose that. So, And then it's going to go there, and we're just going to boot into backtrack as we normally would. It's going to take a few seconds to load up here, and then we are going to get underway effectively. Um, so the exploit maybe takes two, three minutes, depending how quick you are. I don't know. Depends. So it's not particularly long or difficult. We don't really need the GUI, so we're just going to just keep this uh, particular command prompt. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go fdisk dash l, and this is going to list all the uh, file systems that it can find. Um, in this case, since it's a VM, there's not that many, and we obviously are just going to use SDA1. Um, you're just going to be looking basically for the boot partition where you're going to find your Windows files and all that kind of things. So ours is SDA1 in this, and it's an NTFS file system. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make directory, which is mkdir, and then we're just going to go slash mount slash Windows 7. This actually doesn't matter what the file name is or where it is as long as you know where it is effectively. Um, so then we're just going to go mount dash t which is for type and what we're doing is we're mounting the file system here so we're going mount type um, and it's ntfs which is this so if it was fat32 you'd obviously have to change this to 
accommodate. And then we're going to go slash dev slash SDA1 because that is the location of the actual um, piece of hardware. And then we're going to go to what, where we want to mount this, which is slash mount slash Windows 7. And we're going to press enter, and it's going to do that. So then we're going to change directories to slash mount slash Windows 7. And if we list the files here, we see that that's just our typical Windows uh, file system. Um, so then we're going to just go further in. We're going to change directory again, Windows. And then from here, we're going to go System32. These are both capital. And then to config, which is lowercase. And I fucked that up because I'm retarded. Okay. Anyway, so we are in there. And we're going to type ls. And we can see there's a bunch of files there. What we're looking for is SAM. SAM is about halfway down. Um, this is basically where Windows stores its password hashes, its user accounts, stuff like that. Um, so the SAM directory, what we're going to do is, since we're using a program called Change uh, NT Password, which is a program that comes in Backtrack 4 or 5, possibly 3, I can't quite recall, but it's been in there for a while. What we're going to do, since this is a live CD and it doesn't have an updated path, is we're going to add Change NT Password to the path variable just to make our life a bit easier. So we're going to go Path, which is justifying that we're going to change the path equals dollar sign path which is the um, current variable path uh, and then we're going to amend it with a colon which adds to the end of the path variable slash um, pen test slash passwords and then slash change password um, this will depend on of course if you did install change NT password on something that isn't backtrack. It's obviously not going to be there, and you're going to have to add the actual location of the, to the path itself. Um, but this will be enough for us. And then if we want, we can go echo uh, path here, or sorry, echo dollar sign path, because this will list out the variable path. And as you can see, we have pen test password change password in there. So this what this basically does is when we type anything into Linux, instead of having to execute as a script or an executable, it's just going to assume and look in this directory for us. So this allows us to just go like this, change password here, change NT password, and dash I for interactive. You can do dash L or whatever if you want to do it non-interactive, but I personally prefer just to keep it interactive. And since we're already in system32 config, we're just going to go SAM, which is the file name in this directory. If you were having to specify this elsewise, you would have to put the whole directory, but since we're in it, we can just type SAM and press enter. This is going to open the change NT password program. And then as you can see, it loaded the hive, the SAM hive, and we have some options. We can either choose one to edit user data and passwords, which we are going to do, or we can open our registry editor with nine or press Q to quit. We're going to go ahead and type 1 and press enter. It's going to list out some users here. We uh, can see the administ default administrator, default guest, and then as well as Colin, which is the one we're going to be looking at. It'll tell us if that account is admin, if it's locked or not, and give us a reference ID. So we can either choose to enter a reference ID here, which would be 03E8 for Colin, or we could type simply Colin, which is going to tell the program to open that particular username. Um, so it's done that. We have another option. We can do one to clear the password, press two to edit the password, press three to promote me. Say I was just a default guest or something. I could promote myself to admin. Um, we could press four, which will unlock it and uh, enable it. So that's if, say, you typed in 200 wrong passwords and you've been locked out for two days or something, you can just unlock it for the person. Um, or you can press quit or Q for quit. We're going to go ahead and press one and it's going to say password cleared. That's what we want. Um, at this point, you can choose to do another user account or whatever, but we don't need to, so we're going to put an exclamation point, which is to signify quit. Um, and it take us back to the original default splash menu. From here, we're going to press Q for quit, because we're done. Um, and then we want to save it. That's what it's asking, so we're going to go ahead and press Y for yes. And then it's putting us back to the default prompt. And we are effectively done, so what we're just going to go do is shut down dash H now, which is just going to turn off the machine and we're going to then boot back into Windows. Uh, so it's going to take a few seconds again, and I apologize for the wait in advance. Um, so Backtrack is now closed, and it's just going to restart. Obviously, if you're doing this on an actual machine, there wouldn't be this wait because it would just boot up instantly, but VMware Player is, well, VMware Player. So um, we're just going to give it a minute or two. I don't really know how long it's going to take but it doesn't have a whole lot of RAM on this virtual machine, so it might take a little bit of time. Um, and we are done, though, effectively. I'm just going to let it you know, clear. No, uh, no cuts or anything stupid, because then you guys might not believe me or whatever. But 
um, once we boot back into Windows the password will be gone and it should go right to the desktop um, I might as well talk about my channel while we're at it um, I will be if you would like to subscribe please do um, message me if you have any issues for a comment I'll be sure to help you if I can uh, it's a relatively simple exploit to start with so there shouldn't be too many questions but if there is please do let me know um, but yeah so just basically if you'd want to like subscribe I'd be I'd be pretty happy um, go ahead and thumbs it up like it I like you guys too so you know, like it up. We're just gonna turn on the virtual machine here. It's gonna complain my disk is invalid, but it is. So then we're going to go ahead and hit OK when or cancel rather when it comes up, and it's just gonna go to the uh, boot menu BIOS uh, splash page for the virtual machine, and we're just gonna let it time out and then boot into Windows. But anyways, so if you like my content, please do subscribe, like, stick around, send me messages. I like that kind of stuff. I like talking to you guys, and I like making videos. So you know communicate me with me I'm here like I mean if you guys need help with anything or if like your mom did something stupid and forgot something maybe I can help you out just just let me know um, so anyways yeah this tactical tuna I'm around please please stick around my channel if you like that kind of stuff so we'll be just be doing normal commentaries for games a bunch of games uh, montages for various games tech reviews product reviews tutorials for various exploits and stuff like that um, basically whatever you guys want so just if you have a request let me know anyway so we're booting back into windows and this has all been one and take so there's no question for like authenticity I can't fucking speak authenticity basically we are here this is Colin once again um, as you can see I'm still administrator uh, in a second it'll sh yeah, see administrator and it's gonna ask me to create a password if I'd like so as you can see the password's totally gone I can make whatever I want and we're uh, we're we're done thanks thanks guys so yeah so subscribe if if you like what you see if not let me know